My name is Neil, I'm a cognitive neuroscientist and I'm based at uh, Princeton Neuroscience Department in Princeton uh, and I investigate how the brain um, learns from information it gets and how it learns about the, the environment that we're, we're operating in. Some of my research has looked at um, biases in how we um, receive and use information in the world. So you might think that um, if we were robots um, we would just take information, whatever it is, and treat it in the same way. But some of my research has shown that that's not actually the case and actually people, uh, healthy people at least, they generally tend to um, distinguish between information that's good, that tells them the world is better than they thought, um, compared to when it's bad, when it tells them the world might not be as good as it is. It's a sort of separate study but what we're looking at that is, you know, how the brain reacts to um, immoral situations, okay, so when we're faced with an opportunity to lie, how does the brain respond to that? What we found in the behaviour was that generally people start off being dishonest just a little bit, but over time, like the more repetitions, the more opportunities they have to be dishonest, this increases. Okay, so they start off just doing it by a little bit, but by the end they're really being dishonest um, many, many times. What we found in the brain, so we used fMRI to see um, how their brain was reacting each time they had the opportunity to be dishonest. And we found something quite interesting there. What we found is that initially, when people are dishonest by a little bit, the brain has a really strong emotional reaction to that. Okay? We basically don't like it, we don't like being in a situation and we think that kind of puts the brakes on how willing people are to be dishonest. What we find is over time that, this, that um, emotional reaction to being dishonest goes down. Okay? So initially it's very strong but um, after like two or three times it's, it's, the emotional response that the brain has to being dishonest is much less. And the, we think the um, behavioural consequence of this is that because the emotional response isn't as strong, people are able to be more dishonest as a result. You know, when that feeling of being, feeling bad by being dishonest is not there anymore, this allows us to be more dishonest in the future. So I think it has a number of sort of implications. So one is you know, thinking about um, how we try and stop dishonesty in society. So generally the law is, is, is set up to try and stop really big instances of people being dishonest, so being dishonest on a really large scale. And that's because often being dishonest on a large scale has, a big, has big consequences for society. But if you think about it, if often those big instances of dishonesty start from much smaller instances, then perhaps we should um, also think about ways to stop those smaller instances if they have the potential to go on to these bigger instances that are really harmful.